the interior beginnings of voluntary motions, commonly called the passions, and the speeches by which they are expressed. Okay, so here Hobbes is distinguishing two different kinds of motions in uh, human beings. The first is what he calls vital motions, and these are um, these are motions or behaviors. For example, our circulation of our blood, our beating of our heart, breathing, digestion. These are things that um, occur in all of us. He says, without interruption through their whole life. Um, and these are, importantly, not intentional. They're not deliberate. They're not things that we think about and um, make a conscious decision to do. They happen, as it were, automatically. Distinguished from these are what he calls animal or voluntary motions. Um, and these, he says, it's on page 27, chapter 6, these, he says, um, these depend, sorry, um, so these are things that, he says, are first fancied in our minds, and these are intentional. So these are choices that we make. And, being fancied in our mind means that we have a thought about the goal, a thought about what it is that we're doing. And it's that thought that leads to the motion of the body in the behavior and the motion that uh, we're talking about. Um, okay, so I think this is fairly straightforward, um, the way these voluntary motions work, um, they're really two kinds. Um, some, are, uh, some are generated on the basis of inborn dispositions. So um, circulation, breathing, the vital motions, these obviously are natural in the sense that we are born with uh, dispositions of those kinds. Some voluntary motions also are natural or inborn in the sense that we have, as it were, natural promptings to try to um, achieve those things. So um, eating, for example, right? we choose to eat something. But the, um, um, Biology drives you. Right, but, right, but as it were, nature gives us the impulse. Okay. Um, other things, on the other hand, other kinds of voluntary motions, on the other hand, are um, acquired. So, are not instinctual. Um, so let's talk just for a second about how that might work. Um, actually, let me take a look at the next little quote here. Um, so this is further down on page 27. He says that um, it is evident that the imagination is the first internal beginning of all voluntary motion. Okay, so imagination is either going to be prompted naturally or through experience. So I want to talk for a second about how experience could prompt an, a voluntary action. Um, sorry, the end of that paragraph over on the top of page 27, no, 28. It says, these small beginnings of motion within the body of man, before they appear in walking, speaking, striking, and other visible actions, are commonly called the death. So this is the story of imagination. Okay, so here I am 
walking through the world and I bump into something or something bumps into me. Maybe I've never encountered this thing before and maybe it's ice cream and it bumps into my tongue. So that's going to cause a certain sensation that is the interaction of my body with that object is going to cause certain nerve impulses and obviously vibration. These are transmitted through my body to my brain, causing a certain kind of sensation, a certain kind of feeling, namely the taste of ice cream. And there it lingers in a hidden vibration in my brain, we would say a memory. Now, sometime in the future, I have another encounter with ice cream. Maybe I see it. This sensation of ice cream gets transported through my nerves to my brain, maybe interacts with that memory. Now Hobbes would call this an imagination. I imagine what that ice cream Now, my brain vibrates in a certain way, transmits nerve impulses through to my muscles, and now I move in the direction of that ice cream and I put it in my mouth. Okay, so this is strictly a causal account where we start with sensations resulting in uh, an, an imagination of that sensation. And because I fancied this in my mind, my motion toward the ice cream is voluntary. All right. Paragraph 2 there on page 20. He now gives us further definition. So the small vibration in the brain that gets outwardly, eventually, gets outwardly expressed in walking or talking or some voluntary action. He says, when it is in the direction of some object that we're imagining, the ice cream in my example, he says, the endeavor when it is toward something which causes it is called appetite or desire. So when that imagination of the object results in voluntary motion toward the thing, we say that we have a desire for that thing. And when, it is, when the endeavor is frontward at something, away from the thing, it's called an aversion. Okay? So a desire and an aversion are small motions in the brain where we're imagining something which results in desires going toward acquiring that object. Aversion is moving away. So we have a, so on the picture I just gave, we say I have a desire for ice cream. I just showed you how that desire uh, functions as uh, part of the causal path through my body, resulting in certain kinds of voluntary actions. Questions about that? Is that clear? What about like a negative? A negative? Saying like, what do you Right, so then I would have an aversion to it, right? So actually, I'll tell you that this was chocolate ice cream that generated my desire. I've also had an encounter once with pistachio ice cream. I had an experience of that. And now whenever I see pistachio ice cream, I turn around and run away. I have an aversion to that. Same kind of story. Okay? All right, so um, I promised you last time that we would uh, try out the clickers. Let's do that now. We'll just take a quick poll here, and that is, do you agree with Hobbes' materialism? So, uh, yeah.
happens in the second we're going to click either and one will really be A here. Yes, human beings are nothing but automata, bits of matter that interact according to physical laws, as Hobbes thinks. Or two, that is B on the clickers. No, although we're material beings, we cannot understand human beings as if they were simply automata. We're more than just our material bodies. Okay, so here's your choice. Let's start here and click in either A for one or B for two.